Bethany Ray, and I am a teaching artist with Meadow Arts, a nonprofit art organization located in Twisp, Washington. And today we are going to create these Japanese Notan inspired snowflakes. So, what you're going to need today is um, a container that is round um, to create the cutout for your snowflake, uh, a pencil, scissors, glue, um, paper, uh, white paper, um, colored construction paper if you have it. If you don't have any of these papers, totally fine to recycle some maybe paper grocery bags or even some newspapers. You're welcome to use what you have around the house as well. So go ahead and pause this video, gather all, up, uh, gather all the materials up, and once you have everything in front of you, you can press play again. So what is no tan? Well, no tan is a Japanese um, design concept that is breaking things down into light and dark. Oftentimes, it is broken down in black and white. So it means light and dark harmony. So we're really going to think about using light and dark, or in this case, instead of using black and white, I'm going to use white and blue. And harmony, we're going to think about how we're arranging the light and dark values on our page to create harmony or balance. In this instance, we're going to create harmony by creating radial symmetry with our snowflake. Radial symmetry just means that everything is coming out from the center. So as you can see, everything is divided up in the snowflake based on the center. It's kind of like a flower. So everything is springing up from the, central, um, from the center and is equally balanced all the way around. So we're going to be thinking about radial symmetry. And the last thing that we're going to think about with Japanese notan is using positive and negative space. Positive space, if I were to hold up my hand, positive space is the space that my hand is occupying and negative space is the space around my hand. So we're going to be thinking about using positive and negative space also with our snowflake today. So let's go ahead and get started on creating our snowflake now that we know a little bit about Notan. All right, so the first step um, is you're going to take that round container and whatever it happens to be, flip it over and with holding it down with one hand on top. You're going to start tracing around the edge with your pencil. You might have to go about halfway and then stop and then pick up your pencil and continue all the way around. And you're going to cut out that circle that you traced with a pair of scissors. So go ahead and do that. Don't worry about um, it being totally perfect. Take your time. Um, go slow. Um, think about your scissors as a little car that's driving down the road. It's got to stay on the road, right? Don't veer off. <laughs> um, and then I always like to think, especially when I'm cutting something like a circle, cut and turn. Cut and turn. So you're constantly moving the paper instead of you trying to Wah! cut a circle with your, by just moving your hand that's holding the scissors. You want to move the paper and then keep the hand that's cutting in the same place, in one place. Okay, so there we go. I got my circle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this aside. That's just extra paper. So now I have my circle. I'm going to fold it once. Okay, and press down along the edge and then fold it twice. So then now what you've done is divided your circle up into quarters, right? One, two, three, four. So you got quarters. So you should have something that looks a little like this. Um, so once you have that, then you're going to take your pencil and draw three triangles, so simple geometric shapes. Um, for our snowflake. Okay, so I'm going to draw 
uh, three triangles. I'm going to start over here on the left side and I'm just going to draw up a little ways and then down. So I'm going to draw like kind of a, a tall triangle and then the shorter triangle right here, kind of in the middle. Okay, and then another tall triangle. So tall, short, tall. All right, so there's that. And from here, grab your scissors, and then same thing, start on the left side, and I'm just gonna cut straight lines. Okay, so then remember, we're gonna turn the paper, not the scissors, and I'm gonna cut down another straight line. So there we go, we got our first triangle. So with these little scraps, hold on to these because we need these for our art project. So just put them up in front. In fact, we're gonna put them in order. Um, I'm gonna put this one up here and then, then short triangle, once I have that cut, I'll have it right here in the middle. So I'm just gonna put them in order so I remember which ones are which. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the shorter triangle. Oops. Let me cut a little past that point. Okay, I'm gonna put that right next to the other triangles, the little stacks. And then I have this last triangle I'm gonna cut out. Okay, and put that little stack right here. Once I open up the little cutout here, I have something that's starting to look kind of like a snowflake, okay? So very similar to the example I showed you, um, but what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna move these triangles over, move this over, and get a piece of my blue paper, and put this down, okay? And I'm gonna grab my snowflake, at least the center I just cut out. Um, it doesn't really matter too much on what side you put the glue, but I'm gonna flip it over, grab my glue stick, twist it up just a little bit. A little bit. Remember, just don't twist your glue stick all the way up like that. You will end up ruining your glue stick, so just a little bit. Um, so I'll put just little strips of glue. Start from the middle and then go out. Because if you start from the outside and go in, whoa, that's not gonna work. So start from the middle and then go out towards the outer edges. Okay, so now I got some glue stick on, or some glue on there, flip it over. I'm gonna find the middle, kind of important, because in order for my snowflake design, my no tan snowflake to fit, to fit all the parts, I gotta make sure that my snowflake for the most part is in the middle. I'm gonna touch it up just a little bit with some glue. If you need to do this as well, that's totally fine. Also, remember, if at any point in this video, if I'm going a little too fast for you, feel free to go ahead and stop or pause the video and then catch up to where I'm at. That is totally fine to stop if need be. Okay, so there I got the center of my snowflake in. And now I have these little triangle pieces that I've kept. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna match up as best as we can, um, the triangles that we cut out. So here, you can tell that this one's a little thicker on the bottom, so it's gonna be this triangle. So I'm gonna put a strip of glue down right here, and I'm gonna place that bigger triangle. It's gonna be a flipped or a mirrored image of the shape here. So here, it's, we were talking about positive, and negative space, so here's positive space, and here's the negative space of this triangle. Well, we have the negative space here, but I've reversed and flipped the shape of this triangle over here, so that's the positive space. So remember, we talked a little bit about positive and negative space. That what, that's what we're doing right now at this point. We're kind of playing with the positive and negative space. So I'm gonna find my short triangle and glue it down there, and then kind of that little bit of a skinnier triangle. This is also kind of like a puzzle. You kind of have to look to see which piece matches up, which piece fits where, okay? But you're gonna do this all the way around your 
snowflake, and at the very end, you'll have your very own Notan inspired snowflake. So I'm just gonna keep going, and you're welcome to go ahead and pause the video and keep working on gluing down your little triangles. All right, I hope you enjoyed creating your very own Japanese Notan inspired snowflake today where we learned a little bit about radial symmetry, um, how we create balance by organizing everything around the center, that's radial symmetry, and also positive and negative space. So positive space would be like the center of the snowflake um, and then the shape of the triangles on the outside and the negative space would be like the blue background. So just some things to think about as you continue making your very own art and I'll look forward to the next time we make art together. Bye for now.